All right, what's up everyone? Here's another. Hello? Yep, thank you. All right, I genuinely don't have time to record this intro, I guess. I turn 21 in three hours. That's right, July 9th is my birthday. It's finally the, the, the age I turn where I can legally drink. So I thought, what better idea than to try 21 different alcoholic drinks for my 21st birthday? Obviously, I won't be able to finish all 21 drinks alone. So I have a friend. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> Two, one. Was I that much faster? Oh, hey! I'm hey. 21! Birthday boy! It is literally midnight. It's like a minute over midnight. We genuinely have actually over 21 alcohol bottles. We have 30 bottles. Exactly 30 bottles. I have a friend here who's gonna help me uh, try to get through as much of these as possible to celebrate my 21st birthday. My name is Sinye, or you can call me XY. That's just easier to pronounce, not gonna lie. I am here to witness the descent of Andrew Shin into alcoholism. I've never been tipsy or drunk in my life before, so this this has got to be fun. First up, it's Budweiser. Yeah, we have like eight cans of this size, so we don't know how we're gonna finish it, honestly. This is an NYU shot glass. Just so you're aware, NYU is okay with drinking. Just stick with like half shots. Yeah, this. right? This. Wow. wow, that is a big boy glass. Pretty good, starting off strong. Good. Starting off strong. I give that a solid... Oh, we're rating them now. <laughs> <laughs> we can adjust our ranking later. Let's start sure. off with a solid like B plus, A minus. All right, yeah. Uh, like I'll give an A minus. I can see myself yeah. drinking this. So what are we gonna do with this? <laughs> We'll put it in the, in the fridge. Really? <laughs> We're not gonna chug it right now, are we? So. Well, that's one down and uh, 20 more to go, even though we have way more than 21 anyway, but it's good to be safe, you know? That's where we have 30. The next one is Heineken. So we're starting with the beers first, and we're starting with the, the big boy brands. I like that. It's got a bit more flavor than the last one. I think I like Budweiser more. Okay. I think, because Maybe it's just me, but I just like the less strong flavor. Stella Artois, third beer. Sexy click. All right, let's go. Stella Artois. Best beer, I think. You think? Goes down the smoothest. I think it's pretty similar to Budweiser, actually. I'm also slightly biased because I watched um, Moist Critical's beer tier list, <laughs> and this <laughs> is a solid S tier, so. Maybe A plus, I'll do A plus for now. Do you want to do soju? All right, bring it on. Yeah, we got like six different flavors of soju. So there's like peach, pineapple, blueberry, watermelon. We have like literally all sorts. I don't think we're gonna get through all of it. We're probably gonna save it for our friend who was gonna join us for this video originally. Shout out Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> but he, he's yeah. unable to join us, yeah. sadly. But yeah. Get well soon. Shot angle. <laughs> oh, there we go. So oh, my uh, favorite flavor though, peach. Peach is prime. Kind of looks like water. Oh, that's cool. oh, I love that. That's so good. Peach is my favorite so flavor. So good. It tastes like peach candy. And it doesn't even taste bitter, like so soju normally does. Next up, we have watermelon. To be fair, there were a lot of flavors in the liquor store that we went oh, to. Oh, yeah. A lot. This is like only two thirds of all flavors. I was going to get all of them, but that would have been beyond our budget. Each bottle of soju was $6. Yeah. <laughs> New York is insane yeah. for its soju prices. I think in yeah. Korea, it's now it's probably 3,001, which is around oh, yeah. $3 at a convenience store. But in New York, it would be just $16 to $20, like in karaoke places. Do not go to K-Town for soju. Yeah, just don't. Yeah. It's incredibly expensive. Mmm. Mm. Good shit. That's also good. Have not tried this flavor before. I'm pleasantly surprised. If I'm not mistaken, I think watermelon is rare. Rare. I don't know because the, the Korean restaurant I go to, I'm pretty sure they have like a different price tag for watermelon alone. Mm. It's like more expensive, at least 50% or like twice more expensive than just other awesome. flavors. Uh, so this is mango flavor. Actually, this is what I'm looking forward to the most because I really like mango. Oh, actually, this is apple mango. Apple mango. Do you think we'll be okay after this? <laughs> I think so far I'm fine. Hopefully. Yeah. Like so far it feels like I've drunk nothing. Yeah, yeah, fairly tasty. Mm. 
Not bad. Not as good as I thought, honestly. Not bad. It has a little bit of a weird taste. I just tasted rubbing alcohol. It's all right. I'll give it a. How about a C plus? C plus. Uh, B minus. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So that's a part. failing grade for Asians. Oh, B. B is a failing yeah. grade for Asians. A stands for amazing slash Asian, and B is bad. A stands for acceptable. B stands for beaten to near death. That's good. <laughs> what is C then? You're just uh, cut off of them. I don't know. All right. So this is apple. This is just apple. apple. It's green apple. Uh, yeah, it is green apple. Doesn't say that, but it yeah, shows that. I think this is one of the more classic flavors. That was too much. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. That tastes strong, but it's so oh, that's good. good. That's good. That is on par with peach for sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, in terms of like flavor, I like peach better, but this is still good. So this is pineapple, the one I was talking about. I'm also curious of how this looks because I've never had pineapple flavored soju before. Not that I would drink before I'm mean, legal. Oh. Ah. Oh. What is that? <laughs> it only, it's pineapple and smell only. This is really strong rubbing alcohol. What did I say was rubbing alcohol oh, wow. earlier? The uh, mango? Apple mango. Apple right. mango. This is stronger. This is really rubbing alcohol. Blueberry. Flavor. I'm nervous about this one. Wine berry is a weird flavor. Is it? For alcohol, it's uncommon. Oh, I don't smell it. That's the sweetest taste of I've ever had. This is strong it's than it's like cloyingly sweet. This almost smells like Febreze. <laughs> yeah. If Febreze had a blueberry smell. Good luck. All right, good luck. Cheers. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Better than pineapple. Much sure. better, much better. I think the flavor is stronger, that's why. So now that we're on an Asian spree, I guess we're moving to Japan. Yes, we have a dry sake here with us. I'm not sure how to feel about sake. Uh, one time I had sake, it tasted actually terrible. I've never had sake before, so that makes me pretty nervous. Cheers. Oh my god. Terrible. What was oh that? god. I had no reaction to that. We were like polar opposites just now. Initially, it tastes like water. No, it didn't. What in the world? Did we no. have the same thing? I, I <laughs> hope so. I, I don't think we drank oh the same Oh my god. I, I honestly didn't taste it that much. Oh god. All right. I don't want to drink this again. The iconic beer from my home country. All right. Tsingdao Pizu. Tsingdao Pizu. <laughs> Wait, do we need a bottle opener for this? Sure. Well, we don't have one. There's no way. Wait, I have one. What am I saying? Oh, you have I, one? I do have one. Why am I torturing myself then? So this is technically beer, but it's yeah. in the Asian category. Okay, I'll get an extra dose of this one. Just homeland. for my homeland. For my home country. Whole country. Definitely not bad. Very... Um, I've tasted this before. Okay. Very foamy. It. It's basically like all the other beers we've just had. Budweiser. It's got a distinctly Asian taste. This goes so well with food. I can already tell. Um, Should we get food later on? <laughs> That's true, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're 10 minutes away from intermission. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Soviet yeah. Union. Anthony starts playing. Da, 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 da. Would you mind pronouncing this? What is yeah, this? It's, it, it's got a red star on it. It says Hongxing Ar Guo Tou Tzu. Distinct shape. Thirty-six <laughs> percent. Oh, oh god! This is the closest thing to rubbing alcohol we're ever. Yep, yeah, I think so. This must be for like soldiers during war time, right? So just like, to keep them up. Yeah. Perfect size too, with like yeah. a cell phone. What I kind of want to do is just peel them off and use them as a water bottle. It's glass. It's, it's a nice looking bottle. Oh God, that smells really powerful. Isn't vodka usually in 40. like a similar, yeah. No, vodka is 40. Okay, so this is high. This is, vodka. I think this beats all the vodka we have prepared for tonight. It's a whole 16% higher. Yeah, levels. so it's like vodka plus soju plus Beer minus a bit. Yeah. We're, yeah, yeah, this is insane. Good luck to our looters. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, mama mia. Woo! Oh, woo! <laughs> woo! Oh my god. I could fight a revolutionary war right now. We're not playing this. Oh my this god, is, that was nuts. Genuinely, my hairs have stood up right now. 
Wow. I don't know if you can see that, but I genuinely got chills all throughout my body. But you know what it feels like in my mouth? You know, like yeah. a Sichuan food, like mala. Oh, right? like Nummy. it numbs you. It yeah. literally numbs my mouth, yeah. I think. So this is just sheer alcohol. Only. Yeah. All right. So this is the end of our Asian chain of liquor. We're bringing it back to Korea. This is bakwardi or rice wine. Koreans like love this. I think the soju is like a different story, obviously, but bakwardi, they love it. I don't think I've ever tried it, so it's gonna be fine. Oh, what a breath of fresh air after the last one. I think it's fine. Not memorable though, but it's fine. Intermission. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll be right back. Oh, that was synchronized! Hey, hey. Hey. We're back. back. Uh, we got a brief, like, 30 minute inter 20 minute intermission. On some pizza. We're gonna have it with this beer. It's oh. called Carlsberg and it's huge. It's like a big boy. <laughs> and it is probably the best beer in the world. Yeah, that's our slogan. Best that's beer in that. the world. So we'll be the judge of that. We think it'll go well, very well with the pizza. And this is a, yeah, an energy drink. Okay. So we don't get dehydrated from the alcohol. We're doing this very safely. I'm pretty sure like many of you thought, oh my God, 21 different drinks. That's crazy. That's unsafe. They'll probably die. We're doing this very safely. Don't worry, we're drinking very responsibly. It's so big. Oh, it's almost intimidating. It's a liter. Mega shot. That's a mega pint of. Oh, look at that foam. <laughs> that almost looks like a miniature beer glass. It is. All right, I'm not gonna doubt it at all, but I'll drink half of it. Literally tastes the same. Yeah, not yeah. bad. I think there's some nuances in there. Of flavor. Is it? Yeah, it's different, but um, it's not noticeably enough to. Make a big deal out of it. Oh, it's so cute. It's so small. Jack Daniels, everybody. I got Coke because I hear whiskey and Coke is a popular combination. Whiskey Jack. We're gonna first try whiskey first alone. I love the cube, uh, the cubic shape. I think it's so, so iconic. Nice. It's so tiny, iconic. Tiny plastic bottle. Yeah. How much is this anyway? Um, not a lot. Probably okay to take on an airplane. Actually, don't. Oh my don't, god. Don't call <laughs> me on. That. This is the the grown man's drink. Wait. Sophisticated. Cowboy. We're going Western style, everybody. Yeehaw. Cheers. Oh, that's strong. That's a good old, oh my God, classic whiskey for you. Oh God, I just got chills again. It's like the same reaction with the yeah. Chinese one, the Red Star. Let's do it with the Coke. All right. I think this will be much more. All right. What's the proportion that we have to pour it in? I have no clue. Should you do like, we're going to do around 50-50. All right. I prefer Pepsi. I might be the only person on the planet. That's enjoyable. That's better. Yeah. But I would just you still have like the it. Coke. You still don't like the Coke. Oh, oh, that's God. a shame. We were pretty hyped up for the whiskey too. Less intense of a reaction from me because it's mixed with Coke, but oh my God, that's still terrible. It's okay. I could drink that again. I, I just need to wash it down with a bit of Coke, I think. I'll give that one a- mm. uh, Oh, that's so good. Coca-Cola is so good. I love it. Not sponsored. See, I think I'm more of like a soda person than an alcohol person. I truly think so. Is anyone really an alcohol person? I, th I think so. <laughs> Nobody drinks alcohol for the taste. They drink it to get drunk. Really? <laughs> I think You know so. what? Since I, I would not be able to relate. Next up to that, Malibu Caribbean rum. 21%. Half the amount of Jack Daniels. I think this is it's the cigars. only rum we have for tonight. So this is going to be interesting. Do it. Hey. hey! Smells like a cool island breeze. It does. It really smells like an island. Reminds me of Moana. I've never seen that movie. I, I did see that movie. It was pretty good. <laughs> I liked it. Take except your love. I think That's not bad. That tastes like pretty good coconut. Oh my god, you're right! I was like wondering what that was. That is so good. It's, uh, it's uh, coconut. Yeah, yeah very That's coconut. Definitely coconut. If you like coconut milk, wow, that was. That went down so smooth. 21%, but it went down very smooth. Fireball. That's why I was really, really hyped up about this. I'm it's excited. something called a fireball. It's cinnamon whiskey. Cinnamon whiskey. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit spicy. Honestly, it looks like. It looks like a little potion almost. The color, the bottle. Something like yeah. straight out of Harry Potter, almost. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah! Fireball! <laughs> it burns your esophagus. It went, ooh! 
My entire digestive tract is on fire. That was actually pretty good. That does not taste bad. I wouldn't say I enjoy it. It's just less. <laughs> it's just less yeah. painful. That's one way to put it. But for the, for the, you gotta give it points for novelty. Sky. Postal cranberry vodka infused with natural cranberry. Thirty-five percent. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I'm a huge fan of vodka. I think me so far. Me yeah. Me oh wow. Pretty distinct. <laughs> It's rubbing Ooh. alcohol right there. That is actually straight up rubbing alcohol. And it somehow smells worse than the Red Star. Azlovia. It's strong, but the aftertaste is okay. You're right, aftertaste, there's almost no aftertaste. It's actually yeah. pretty good. But, almost um, fruity. Yeah, I, can't, I still am not used to like the whole feeling of it just rotting down. Yeah. It's still so you new to me. You feel it all the way. What is this called? It's called the Royal Emblem Peach Peach Quaker Vodka. 30% alcohol. 30%, so a bit weaker than the previous one. I like the initial taste. It's almost the opposite problem as the last one. The aftertaste is kind of bad, but initially I like the peach. We got more vodka than we thought. I thought we had like three. For sure. I we have like six. I thought we just had the Smirnoff, but I forgot we had the small one, so. And they're powerful. They oh are. Oh my god. How are you feeling right now? I'm still fine. I'm okay. Yeah, good. All right. We can crack on then. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. So I'm really looking forward to this one. This is also vodka, but oh my god. The glass is so pretty. The bottle. Will the taste live up to the hype? Oh, that's sharp. And Whoa. It did oh. not. And it did not catch me off guard. That really? burned the back of my throat really? for a second. Yeah. It didn't burn me at all. Wow. Yeah. All right. Thought I'd never say that to any vodka I ever drank, but saying it right now. Good taste. Good taste. Favorite vodka? Oh, well, well, best one so far that we've had. Smirnoff. Really looking forward to it. Wow. That smells good. Oh, that smells I, really good. I love when lime is used well. This is lime. I thought it was lemon. Is it lime? I think it might be both. It smells almost like a garden. Cheers. That's carbonated. Best one so is this even vodka? I don't so I don't even think it's, it's vodka. Four point five percent. Yeah, so it's very low. This yeah. is almost white claw level. That's good. Oh, no, that's no, just that's a soda. Good. Yeah, it's almost yeah, basically it's, lemonade. It's just a lemon lime soda. So it turns out truly is five percent contains one percent juice. So, so it's more than Smirnoff. Yeah, so it's it's uh, around that range. Every college guy has had a truly at one point or another. So it's basically like a white claw. It's very similar, I have to say. Well, I was very unimpressed by White Claws. Really? Yep, so hopefully Trulies would be something different. That is good. Inoffensive hard seltzer. Yep, very soft. A minus. Very self explanatory. Alright, well, moving on in the miscellaneous genre, we have Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA. I have no idea what an IPA is, I've heard of it. I think it's similar to a beer. I don't know what that is. Yep, no. It almost sounds like a government agency. So right now we've moved on to miscellaneous stuff, also known as exotic drinks. We tried to find the most creative looking designs, fancy, crazy looking bo uh, bottles yeah. and cans or whatever. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> the exotic ones make me nervous. I know, that's why we Ooh. saved the best for last. Let's see how that pans out. Beer. Oh, Ooh, but beer, but with an extra, extra taste. In beer, it. but I don't like it. <laughs> it's There's an extra layer. The yeah. worst beer I've had tonight. I'm just straight up not good. Interesting. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, no, that's not great. Not good. Not Maybe good at all. C minus. Range. Industrial arts. Let me guess. Another peach flavor. Oh, it's an ale. Don't know what that means. What's the percentage? Seven point one. Whoa. It smells like nature. The wild. I hate it. What are you talking about? Okay, just kidding. What is this smell? I can't, I don't know. I can't describe it. Yeah, it's like someone tried to put some like natural wilderness flavors oh. into a can. Or like a Febreze or like a laundry detergent. Does it smell like grass? It smells something. A bit like grass. Oh, yeah. Lawn yeah. clipping. Something natural, yeah. organic. Well, hopefully it doesn't taste like lawn, lawn clippings. Cheers. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> I do not like that one. My my taste buds are disagreeing with that one. It doesn't really have a flavor. It just doesn't have a good aftertaste is what I'm gonna say. Yeah. It does remind me of blonde clippings, like the bean boozle challenge. Right. We yeah. Have disgusting flavor. Disappointing. That was, that was on the expensive side too. Oh, the one all we've right. all been waiting for. Let's hopefully clean our taste buds a little bit after that last travesty of a alcohol. So simply is a juice brand, and here they decided to make a spiked version of blueberry flavored lemonade. Okay, I was not expecting pink. I was expecting more of like beer color, yellow, yeah. or at most blue. If it tastes anything like lemonade, this should be a treat. Well, it smells fruity, it smells like berries. It does, it does. Oh, my favorite. Oh, great. Yeah, it's a lemonade soda. I think this is very good. It's like up there, for sure. You could have this in the morning, really. <laughs> if you just want to have a good day. What was that? Get drunk early in the day, that's for um, us to go. If you want another- Oh! Yeah. Oh yeah! Yeah. We should go then. Let's do it. We're back from our intermission. That's why I got pizza from uh, Leftover Wrap. You got five slices for five dollars. I think that's crazy. All right, so <laughs> let's move on to the next one. What is this? We have Three Floyd's Zombie Ice Undead Double Pale Ale. Right, so it's just- <laughs> In other words, just exotic. Oh, it's good. What does it smell like then? Ale. Is this what ale some, smells some like? Some sort of wheat, probably. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, I don't enjoy the taste. Actually, the taste is fine. Surprisingly, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Okay, right? Yeah, it's yeah, okay. I think it's fine. We did not have a great experience with the last IPA. Hopefully this one will be better. It's called The Truth. Very imposing name. It smells exactly it smells the same. like beer. Exactly the same as the other <laughs> it one. It just smells like a Budweiser. All right. I Hopefully, don't know what to it tell you. doesn't taste bad. Cheers. Once again, it just tastes like a bad beer. Yeah, it does not taste good at all. What is that aftertaste? Like? Ugh, yeah, that's so bad. I need to rinse it down. Wow, I guess we just really hate IPAs. I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go rinse that. The next one is quite promising. The, the beast. beast. So it looks like it's a spin-off of Monster. Yeah, it's by Monster. Mm -hmm. I've never had Monster, so I guess we're trying the Beast first. Hopefully this won't keep us up all night. But it's already like 3 a.m. So we started this video what? at like what midnight. It is nearing 3:30 right now. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but hopefully it's shorter than that. Wow. Oh, that's so peachy. Incredible. I love that. That's my favorite peach wow. scent so far. Oh, nectar of the gods. Divine. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh wow. Might be one of the best drinks we've had tonight. That's just a juice. That's just that is actually just juice. Peach soda juice. They said Monster Energy turns 21. That's why they made this thing. Cool origin story, really. There's actually one I've been looking very much forward to this entire video, and we saved it basically till the very end of the video. This yeah. is a beatbox. No idea what this is. It looks exactly like just coconut milk. I mean, it just looks so harmless. What is that color? Looks like a like a Kool-Aid. It sorts. almost looks like a chemical, like copper in liquid form. Cheers. Not bad. Relatively. I think that's the least alcoholic thing we've had today. Relatively smooth. No fizz. Which at is all. funny because it's a, it's kind of it's higher than right. a lot of other ones. No fizz at all. It's just juice. Do you know that blue raspberry is a completely synthetic flavor? <laughs> it doesn't exist in nature. It's just chemicals. So and it tastes good apparently. Yeah, so. it does. Very nice. Should we move on to the final one? Oh. Look at this. Yeah, we have decided to get one bottle of wine. How much was this? Like 13? It's a sangria. It is one of the cheapest yeah. wines in that liquor store. I mean, I know people say the cheaper it is, the worse it tastes. But for me, who just hates the taste of expensive wine too, I don't think I'll tell a difference. It tastes like a pretty standard red wine. It's interesting. It's got some fruity flavors. I don't like it. Yeah. Like the first sip is always fine. It's like starting from like the third, fourth sip, it just gets so bitter. This was the finale, but 
interestingly enough, we are gonna do some bonus rounds because we decided we're not drunk enough. He's fine. not even feeling anything. He says it's 100% fine. So. I'm actually like fine. And right now it is like almost 3.30 and I should be like dead right now. I should right. be sleepy. <laughs> First of all, we're gonna introduce you to a Korean favorite, a mixture of soju and beer called sumek. Let's bring it on right now. All right, we have the big boy, it makes its return. And we decided to go with blueberry soju. I forgot how it tasted, but hopefully it's good. It's just the first flavor I got my hands on. I wanna recreate something from a Psy music video. It's called Hangover. They do basically like a trick shot, it's like dominoes. Obviously we can't recreate that, but <laughs> yeah, we don't have that many cups. Look at that foam. But I'm gonna try my best. He already mixed it, uh, soju and beer. I have a glass of beer and a shot of soju. So what I'm gonna do is just what in the f <laughs> Huh? But okay. The color, right? Yeah, you, you did say you're gonna do a trick. <laughs> yeah, this is the bonus rounds, everybody. And now he's gonna swallow the shot glass. We're going so extra we exotic. Cheers. I don't hate it. I don't hate it either. Yeah, my 50-50 is decent. I might even add a tiny bit more beer because the soju is very flavorful. I think the proportion's closer to 60, 40, something like that. Nice. Well, you discovered something new. And it's decent. It's it's fine, yeah. Do you see yourself doing this in like a public setting? In, in like, a public setting? Well, well I, maybe, maybe not this. Yeah. <laughs> maybe not, not yeah. this. But no, but like mixing it together. I could, I could, if I had both on hand. Mm. Yeah, I'm yeah. more of a social drinker, so Makes sense. Nice. nice. I remember a video I did back in 2018, and the concept was taste the rainbow. You know soda, right? Yep. I got all seven colors. Fanta, so, yeah. Sprite, basically. I see, I yeah. see, I see. Powerade. I did nice. it all together. It was brown, and it tasted like shit. All right, yeah. let's hope this does not taste like that. Let me just say your fruit looks ridiculous right now. Because it actually... It's so all that alcohol in front. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I got a photo of that later. This is um, a little bit of everything, as we said. This is literally jungle juice. Everything, everywhere. Vodka, all rum, gin, sir. soju, bakardi, beer, yep. everything you can think of. Oh, that is the amalgamation of 30 liquors in one cup right here. That just smells like hell. This is Satan's favorite beverage. I think like it's alcohol. gonna taste like vodka. Okay. Even though we mixed a lot of like weaker ones. I think the beer or the soju might also be prominent. All right. <laughs> I hope this goes well. Gambe, Azlovia. This is the final shot. So cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. This is the finale. If we survive, like and subscribe. <laughs> Oh, what the? Mm. I actually just did a huge gulp right now. Wow. I taste everything. A little bit everything. of everything. Seriously, everything. I taste the really strong one, especially. I taste the Chinese Red Star one. Yeah, that, that's so strong. It's, it's like so strong that it like pops up. Whoa. The most prominent of the 30. I'm genuinely sweating right now. That's that's uh, that's overwhelming. That's crazy. That's I yeah. think that's the perfect ending for this video. This describes our entire yeah. journey in one cup. It is almost 4 a.m. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and joining us on this journey and celebrating my 21st birthday with me. Yes, the sir. first four hours of my 21st birthday. I'm glad we got to spend it together. And my friend yes, here, thank yes, you sir. also for joining. Of yes, course, of course. All right, we'll see you in the next video. That's right. See you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye.